I mean, the number one wave getter is a tube ride. You know, no matter what these guys do, if they get a fantastic tube ride, they're still going to get a 10. But say somewhere like Scarborough, you can get one good tube ride every 50 waves. My parents bought this place in Scarborough where the photo is. Surrounded by sand dunes in those days, there wasn't any road there and uh, we just used to whip over the beach and spend all their time in amongst the sand dunes and on the beach and everything else and don't ask me whether there's any snakes there because we never saw any. <laughs> Scarborough was quite an isolated suburb then. You had the old houses just where the Scarborough pub was, there's a couple of old houses just behind that. But basically, north of that, there's just nothing. You know, just sand dunes, sand dunes, and, until you got to Triggs. Mum would just sort of let us go down the beach. Then when we were young, you know, it's, you know you're talking about eight and nine and things like that. You know, we really spent a fair bit of time going down the beach. The first time I actually saw people surfing is the guys came up from Cottesloe and they surfed this white break and on the first of the shortboards, this is back in 58, around that, about that era. The surf club guys had their toothpicks, their 16 foot toothpicks. Deadly weapons, oh dangerous. These guys could catch waves and do a lot more on them. You know, it's, well, so in those areas, what we nowadays it's almost like riding straight and across the wave, but you weren't riding just straight into the beach. That was just a totally different ball game. We'd walk to Triggs with our boards, you know, in those days, you know, because hey, who was going to cart you there? You know, I mean, there's no wetsuit, so you're down there in the skins in little winter, wearing board shorts and uh, and maybe a footy jumper or something like that. It's okay walking up there, but coming back in the sea breeze is a bit of a handicap. When you see a person getting great waves, I'm really happy to see them getting great ways. And especially as I got older, you know, you're just a little bit more subdued and your surfing is quite gone to the back, <laughs> back seat. <laughs> but it's good um, just being there, you know, just watching these guys. You know, I used to compete fairly solidly and uh, back in the 60s and 70s and and as I enjoyed it don't get me wrong I enjoyed it and if I lost well I lost you yeah, know but also tried to go out and win you just got to set your mind and say well that's my direction that's what I want to do and bugger everybody else do your own thing. Do your own thing and, and enjoy yourself. Yeah, just looking at this green face coming over you, it's just, oh, fantastic. Get yourself in there, just, and you just try and keep yourself in there. It's the ultimate, and it's been the ultimate since day dot. <laughs>